There we go. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, The Rodeberg Beauty Aesthetic. As you can probably tell by the new background, I am not in the place that I have been filming for my uh, last few videos. That is because I was home in Minnesota at my parents' house over the holidays. That's when I decided to start filming. And so now I am back in my home in Chicago. The lighting will probably be a little different. At my old home, I had really nice natural light, and now I'm dealing with um, a little more artificial light, but I don't have quite yet like the best lighting for that. Another thing before I get into this video, if you cannot tell by my voice and my sniffling, I have a cold right now. So I apologize if I like cough a lot. You're gonna see me drink a lot of tea. I have my tea in here. So the tutorial I'm doing tonight is just gonna be um, a makeup look. I'm not gonna deal with my hair or anything tonight, um, but it is gonna be for that special day coming up for a lot of people, uh, Valentine's Day. I personally do not understand the draw of Valentine's Day. I don't get why there's Valentine's Day. I think if you're with someone, like every day you should treat each other like it's Valentine's Day. But I still like the tutorials that go around it and so I will do a look. And then I'm gonna give three options of lip colors at the end that can go with this look because I think it's nice to give a little variety depending on how um, adventurous you are. So without further ado, let's get started. First, I'm gonna start by priming my face. Make sure, obviously, first, that you have a clean face. I'm gonna go in with the Pore Professional Primer by Benefit. Ta-da, ta-da. Next, I'm gonna go in with my foundation. I lately have really been liking actually these two L'Oreal products. I'm gonna mix them up and use both today. The first one is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte um, Demi Matte Finish Air Light Oil Free Foundation. It comes in this packaging. And I am in classic ivory. I probably could even go a shade lighter. And then the other one I use is a L'Oreal Paris Infallible Total Coverage. Um, so this one is a little thicker. I also use this in classic ivory. I just like to mix these two on the back of my hand and then I'm gonna use a beauty sponge. This is not the original beauty blender. I get this off Amazon. Um, I can link the product down below. I actually like these more. It comes in a pack of four and I don't know how much they are, but it's a lot cheaper than a beauty blender. So, further ado, let's do that. Now that I have my foundation base on, I'm gonna go in with my under eye concealer. Um, I've been using, of course, surprise, surprise, Tarte Shape Tape. Um, I use it in the color Fair Neutral. Um, when I first put this on, I thought it was gonna be way too light for me, but, so I'll use it under the eyes, and then I do a little bit of highlighting with it as well, and I'm just gonna use the same Beauty Blender to blend it in. So now that I have blended in my concealer, I'm gonna go in and set and bake my uh, under eyes. Probably a little bit of bake in my whole face. So I'm going with the same damp beauty blender again. And I'm gonna use the RCMA No Color Powder. I keep it in this little um, thing. So I'm gonna go in with some powder just right on the beauty blender. And then I'm gonna put that right under my eye to set that and also leave you want to really pack it on so that it can bake fully under there. The less powder or the less um, damp your beauty sponge is, the harder it will be to get enough product on here to fully bake. It's kind of what's happening with mine right now. It's not setting on that thick, so I have to put on some extra layers. And then I am going to go ahead and, and just with like a lighter layer, I'm not going to worry about baking the rest of my face. I'm just going to go set um, my face. Next, I am going to go in and do my brows. So I usually start out with this kit right here. It is the Defined and Refined, Defined and Refined Brow Kit um, by Benefit. I have it in number two, I believe. So inside it comes with a primer, um, a precision eye pencil, a measure, and a highbrow. Um, I really don't use the measure. I probably should, but I don't if I'm just being honest here. 
So I'll go in with that first and then I usually go in after to fill in just the more outer edge of my brow and lightly fill it in um, to darken it up and just give it a little more depth with the Cabrow by Benefit. And I use this in the number three. Up, down, up, down, up, down all the time. Next, I'm going to go in and prime my eyelids for my eyeshadow. Um, I'm going to go in this time with Thank Me Later by Elizabeth Mott. Um, this is just the travel size. I absolutely love it though. Um, I think it's even cheaper than the Urban Decay Potion Primer. So I would definitely recommend this one. Alright, so the next step is the eyeshadow, obviously. I'm a little upset because I have a kit that I really, or a kit, I have a palette that I really like to use when I'm going in with like rosy tones, and I have no idea where it is. But this is probably better for you guys because they'll give you a few less products you'll have to go through if you want to achieve the look. It's the Morphe Fall Into Frost palette. It's lovely. It is so lovely. I love it. All right, first I'm gonna go in with a blending shade. I'm gonna mix these three colors, not the black, the three on the other side. I'm gonna go in with, this is MAC. I have no, I think it's E40, MAC E40. It's worn off. And I'm gonna go in and I'm just going to blend in some for my, wow, I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm just gonna go and put it in my crease. As you can see, this eye, a lot bigger than this eye right now on the uh, blending. Don't try to go this high up. That was a mistake. All right, so then to kind of fix this a little bit, I'm going to go in with this brush. It's just a bigger blending brush. It's by Sonia Kashuk. I'm going to take um, just this lightest shade of the matte shades on this palette. I'm going to blend it off here at the top um, just to try to lighten where I want a little overboard on that blending with the darker colors. And then I'm going to go in with a slightly more dense, uh, smaller blending brush, Royal and Lang Nickel Crease and Smudge Brush. So on one side is a crease brush and the other is a smudge brush. I'm going to use the crease side. I'm going to go in with the darker one here that we blended with, but I'm going to concentrate that mainly on the outer corner and a little bit into just the crease, not going too far up or down. I'm gonna go in with a base uh, shade here on my lids. Whoop. That's what it is. No idea what this brand is. It's too uh, crispy. But it's just a basic C brush. I'm gonna go in with the Fall Into Frost palette. And I'm gonna go in with this one. Whoop. It's like a kind of rosy gold, one of the lighter shades on it though. I'm gonna go in and just dab that on the whole eyelid very lightly. Again, this is just a base. So now that I have that base on there, I'm just gonna use the same brush. I'm gonna use the lightest shade on this palette. I'm gonna use that just to highlight a little bit on the inner eye. Next, I am gonna go in with some ColourPop Eye Pigments. Um, I'm going to be using three of them. The first one is gonna be Arrow. Second one is Drift. And the third one is Tinsel. So I'm gonna start with, ooh, no! I'm gonna start with Arrow. It is a bright kind of pink mauve purple shade. Very sparkly, obviously. I want to be sparkly on Valentine's Day. I'm going to use a finger, um, and then I use it to just pat it on top, and I'm going to use this on the whole lid. So I just go in like this, and then I go pat it on the lid. Okay, then I'm going to go back in with that same brush I used to concentrate in the crease with no additional product on it, and just blend it out a little bit. All right, next I'm going to use Drift. It is a darker purple shade. Um, still though with like a little bit of a red tint highlight, rose, rosy in it. Um, and I'm actually gonna take this strange little brush. Um, I got it from one of those like knockoff kits on Amazon of the Artiste brush. 
I don't love them. Um, I don't think they really work well with liquids. I think sometimes on powders they're okay. This is like one of them. I used one earlier to blend out my highbrow and that's about it. Like those are the only two I really like. Um, but I'm gonna use this from this. I'm just gonna kind of swirl it in here and I'm gonna use it to concentrate it on this outer corner of my eye. And then I'm gonna go in with the um, Super Shock Shadow by ColourPop in Tinsel. Um, and this one is a more silver-based purple, as you can see here. I really, really like the shade too. Um, and since it's silver-based, it's a little brighter, and I'm just gonna dot it on the inside of my eye to create more of an um, a round shape on the eye, some dimension. Cool. <laughs> now that we are done with the main part of the eyeshadow, I am going to brush away what I have been baking here on, under my eyes. What's also nice about like baking is that it creates an extra layer that if any of that glitter fell out under my eye or that dark pink, um, it doesn't get stuck under my eye. I can just brush it away with the rest of this powder. So that's definitely nice as well. Ooh, 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 ooh. Next, I'm gonna go in and tight line my upper lashes with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencil in Zero. It is just their black color here. So I'm gonna go ahead and tight line. With that, you can actually decide to do black on your bottom lashes as well if you'd like. I think that's maybe a little too uh, drastic for me, just too dark for me for Valentine's Day, um, but you can. I'm actually gonna go in with um, this eye and lip pencil. It's called a Lux Doubler by Scone Cosmetics. It looks like this and it is in this red shade. And I really like actually using this. I think it gives it a really fun new look. Otherwise, if you wanna go even a little more tame, you can use a nude a, a nude color for your waterline on your bottom. I actually just use the highbrow by benefit if I'm gonna do something like that, but today I'm gonna go in with this red color. I'm just gonna use it on my waterline. So as you can see, that just gives it this nice kind of pink eye shade under it. I really like it. People say it makes my eyes pop. Um, which is nice of them to say. Anyway, next I'm gonna go in to do my top eyeliner. Um, I'm gonna do a little wing, nothing too drastic, and I'm gonna go in with the super slim and fallible liquid eyeliner by L'Oreal Paris. It looks just like such. If you want a full tutorial on how to do that, I'll probably just skip over it for this video. Um, you can watch, I made another video on how I do my winged liner. All right, so as you see here, I just went in with a really small wing look and just did it really tiny. I have this thing going on with the pink shadows. I don't want to overwhelm it with like a really big eyeliner, especially for Valentine's Day. I am trying to stay a little more subtle, but still I'm a makeup artist, so <laughs> this is subtle, kind of. Next, I'm going to go in with my mascara. I'm going in with Lash Sensational Mascara by Maybelline. I love this one. I think it's a really good dupe for the Roller Lash by Benefit. I am going to use that today. Here we go. Next, I'm going to do a little bit of contouring, not too drastic. Again, um, I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Contour Palette. I think this is just fine. I'm going to go in this with this, again, this really weird pink thing. It's supposed to be an artiste brush. It's totally not. Um, I'm just going to go in with this dark shade here and do a nice little contour on both sides. To give my face some color, I'm going to go in with Hoola Bronzer um, and this nice big Morphe brush. It's the Morphe E1 brush. I'm using it just to give a little color and definition on my face. I blend it down to my cheeks, the top on my forehead, a little bit more on the side, again down to my cheek. Make sure it blends into that hairline. For blush for this look, I'm going to go in with the Becca Blushed with Light Trio palette that looks just like this. Comes with three shades in Wisteria, Songbird, and Snapdragon. 
I'm going to all over use Wisteria and then use a little bit of Snapdragon just to add some pop to the colors of my cheeks. So I'm going in with this Coastal Scents Angled Blush Brush. Um, any angled blush brush will do and I'm going to use that to take up some of Wisteria, the lighter shade. I'm going to use that first to blend up into the temple. So then I'm going to go in with Snapdragon, the boop, brighter shade right here, just to use on more of the apples of my cheeks and blend a little bit up. You never want to just go on the apple of the cheeks. I'm um, just to give a little more color, but make sure you blend it out. Bam. Of course, everyone needs a little highlight, so I'm going to go in with the ColourPop highlight in... Uh, strapped. It's just a nice pink highlight. Again, that's kind of the theme if you can't tell. Pink. Use some on my finger and just brush it up here on the high ends of my cheeks. Okay, so now we are done with the general idea of the face. I'm going to go in with my three different lipsticks to show you that you can do with this look. So this is the first option. It's a liquid lipstick by Stila and it is in Patina. It's my favorite nude. It's a nice mauve pink. This is nice if you want to do a little more subtle of a look since you have a little more dramatic eye. This is the second look that you can get. Um, again, pretty much the whole same look, just a different lip color. Here I am using More Better by ColourPop. Um, this is one that I talk about in my, in my video, what's in my bag. Um, whatever, in my what's in my video, no, in my what's in my bag video. There we go. Um, it stays on all day, so this is great. I, I used it once and it stayed on all day through all my meals. It was fantastic. So this is definitely a great one. It's a little more fun, a little more pop of color here. As you can see, it's a very nice pink, um, a really bright one. A little bit, mm a berry tone, if that's what you want to call it. And this is the final look that you can do with this. Of course, I'm sure there's other looks you could do if you want a more purple look or whatever it is. But for my last one, I did a red lip classic. If you want the classic look, so we have a neutral look, we have the fun pink look, and we have the nice classic red look. I used Stila um, Liquid Lip in Fiery. This is my favorite red ever. It has a blue tone. Um, Beso by Stila Liquid Lip would also be great. Um, and then I paired it with the look that I would put with it. So I have a nice white lacy top. It's fun, but it's classic, a little flirty. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I'm so sorry that I was sick today and that my voice is weird, but I hope you like the look. Please click subscribe, click the little bell, comment down below which lipstick color you would wear this one with and what you would pair with it, what you think of this outfit. I would really appreciate it. I love talking with you guys. Thank you so much and have a great Valentine's Day. Bye!